everybody, today is beautiful outside but not so beautiful for our Strelitzia so let me show you because we have a big problem with her. As you can see the leaves lost their color and they're pretty burnt here or here or here and I am really sad about it because these were really big leaves and they were beautiful you guys and this could have been prevented but you know what this is a learning curve, it's part of the journey and now we're gonna try to fix it together. So let me tell you why this this happened. If you've been watching this channel for a long time you know that this Strelitzia has been here for about one year and a half or so and as you may know in the winter I used the grow light to make her grow. This was very beneficial for her because Strelitzias love bright sunlight. So for example this leaf right here that now is damaged it was a beautiful leaf and it actually came out after I put this Strelitzia close to the grow light. And in the summer here in Berlin we have lots of bright light so I thought that it would be a good idea to move this plant outside to our south facing balcony. And this was a big mistake. As you may know south facing balconies or south facing windows receive lots of of sunlight and I thought that my plant would enjoy it but guys after one day outside it was already looking like this. This is because even though the Strelitzia loves bright sunlight this was too much sunlight and too quickly and we just have to think about how the life of this Strelitzia has been. So as you may know when we buy a Strelitzia from the nursery shop these Strelitzias have been grown in greenhouses. So already from the time that they're really small they're being protected from harsh sunlight because they're inside the greenhouse. On top of that I've had this plant as I said for a year and a half or so and during this time she was always indoors. This was the first time that I took her outdoors. So yes it was too much sunlight very quickly. So unfortunately I didn't know this when I placed her outside I thought that she was gonna enjoy the sunlight and after seeing the leaves in this condition I did my research and yes I discovered that I put her out too quickly and it was too much intense sunlight for her. So the first thing that I learned is that if we're gonna move our Strelitzias from indoors to outdoors it has to be gradually. So when we place our Strelitzia outdoors it should be covered by shade. Of course you should have her in a bright area just protect her from direct sunlight because this will happen to the leaves. And then if we see that she needs more sunlight little by little we we'll increase the sunlight that she receives. Unfortunately I did not do that and that's why the leaves look like this. So I've done some research and there are ways to help our plant here. So let me tell you what I found. If your Strelitzia looks like mine and you have her at a spot with lots of sunlight the first thing that you want to do is to move her away from the sunlight. So you want to move her either to a shader area or back indoors. Now we want to keep her in a bright area because as you know the Strelitzia does thrive in bright conditions. On top of that if your Strelitzia looks like mine it has these brown spots here on the leaves that shows you that she's not going to have so much chlorophyll in the leaves and therefore she won't be able to absorb and convert sufficient light that she can use to grow. So we don't want to put her in a dark spot just make sure that she's out of direct sunlight. The next thing to do is to check for signs of dehydration. So for example if you see wilted leaves or that they are curving upwards this may be a sign of dehydration. What I would also do is to check the soil and if you see that the soil is really dry then your plant is thirsty. Now for the first couple of hours what I've read is that we don't want to soak the soil because if you're plant is dehydrated this will shock the roots. But we do want to provide some water so what we want to do is to give her small amounts of water frequently during the first hours. That way we bring back the moisture to the soil and to the roots but at a slow pace. After we hydrate the soil we want to make sure that we keep it moist. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check with my finger every couple of days just to make sure that the soil is still moist and once I'm feeling that the soil is drying out then I'm going to water. Remember you always want to check that the soil is drying out before you water because we don't want to overwater our Strelitzia. So always check the soil to make sure that you keep it moist but not super wet. Now unfortunately the burn in the leaves cannot be fixed. So if you have a very damaged leaf such as this one here you can prune it. I have decided to prune the most damaged leaves which I can tell you is really sad because these leaves were really big and beautiful 
But what I'm telling myself is that this will open more space for new healthy growths. And I'm gonna show you what's the best way to prune your strelitzia so she grows healthy and happy. So we're going to need very sharp pruning shears or a knife. And what I strongly recommend is that you sterilize these either with alcohol or with hydrogen peroxide. This is gonna help you prevent any pest infestation because maybe use them with another plant that has some eggs or anything. So it's always good to sterilize our tools. And then let me show you how we're gonna cut our plant. So I'm going to cut this one right here, which is a very big one. And is this one here. So we want to cut at the base of the branch and we don't wanna cut like this. We actually wanna cut in an angle like this. So I'm gonna try it now with this one. And then you can add some soil to the stem. This will actually protect the stem and also help it heal. And now we wait. What I'm going to do is to keep a very close eye on my strelitzia because as you can see, one day under the sunlight and it was a very big damage. So yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye on it. And I actually found a very good tip online. So what it says is that we take a picture every day and that way we can see the progress, whether she's getting better or if she's getting worse. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep you updated on Instagram. So all the pictures that I take, I'm just gonna post them on my stories so you guys can see how my Strelitzia is doing and hopefully it will be better. Of course, as always, if you have any questions, make sure to comment below or if you have any other experience, also comment below because it can help the whole community. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Okay, ciao! <laughs>